<coughs> cough, cough. Good evening. Happy Sunday. So I'm going to continue the Q&A Sunday that I started last week because I get questions. So why not answer the bloody things? So this question came on a message last week. Um, and I've since gone through this exercise with the person about values. And they're like, oh, how do I know what my values are? I don't know what my values are. How do I work out my values? And I think it's much like any, any exercise where we're trying to answer something within ourselves where there's um, outside influences that can kind of become part of it can be really tricky because you might look at you might know some people or you've had conversations about values and they value some things and you're like, oh, really? I don't really care about that. So then you start to judge yourself about, oh, well, should that be my value? Because, oh, my God, oh, money's one of my values. Um, but they say that having money as a wealth, as a value, is like means you're like greedy. So, oh, God, I can't have, oh. So you get confused and you can be, hello. Not feeling very beautiful today. Anyway, <laughs> thank you. A bit tired. Um, so, but so you get the out, outside influences, and then you might have a Google and go, "What are the top ten values of the world?" And you think, "Oh, okay, they should be my values." But you know what? It's much like passions. They may not mean jack shit to you, and that's okay. The whole point of values is you living a life where it's important to you. Not Google, not your best friend, not your third cousin twice removed. It's important to you. But to start that, you might need some ideas because values, there are hundreds, if not thousands of values that you could possibly have. There's probably there's probably main ones in each kind of area of life that you might want to focus on. But there's like a plethora of values to choose from. So I always think if you're not if you're not sure, and some values you just may know, like in here, like oh my god, that is so important to me, so important to me, and it's an easy decision, and there's no questioning. They're great. Those values, when you like get it, oh, you get it, and they're fantastic. So what I encourage you to do is, and I just said, don't Google values is Google values or grab a book that many, many, many um, self-help books, motivational books, go to the library, have listings of values. But you can literally go to Google and search, you know, give me 100 values or, and have a look through. And then play around with writing some words. And similar to how I did the brain dump last week and similar to how I explained how the passion test works to you guys, so you can go back to those lives, is then whittle it out. So I just quickly wrote down, and these aren't my top six values, but I picked a couple. Achievement, family, kindness, obedience, satisfaction, vitality. So I just wrote those down. I'm like, oh, okay, well, how do I get my top three out of that six? So you ask yourself if I could have achievement in my life every single day, is that more important to me than having family in my life every single day? Well, for me, family's going to win that one. So then I go to the next one. I go, okay, if I can have family in my life, is that, that was a bad example because family's always going to win that one for me. Yeah, I'll take family off. Oh, we'll go wealth. We'll move family, we'll go wealth there so I can get further down the exercise. How funny is that? Okay, if I could have obedience in my life or I could have satisfaction in my life every day, which would I prefer? Mm -hmm. I'm going satisfaction. If I could have satisfaction in my life or vitality in my life every single day, which one would I have, prefer to have in my life? I'm going to go vitality. Definitely on that one. If I could have vitality in my life or I could have kindness in my life every day. Oh, and you see what I mean? You get to some and you're like, oh, it's a bit hairy, it's a bit hairy, it's a bit hairy. I'd probably go kindness over vitality, I think, for me personally. So you get the gist. And if you've got a list of, say, 20 just words that mean something to you in that in that value family, you can whittle it down to five. It's, uh, you're going to think it's hard when you start. 
yeah, you're definitely going to think it's hard when you start. But by the time you start going through it, that the difficulty disappears and you will enjoy the exercise and you will come out of that exercise going, yay, I've nailed it. These are my top five values. And what, knowing that's really important because that's how you make decisions. When all those things, when your values are in line with your passion and you, they're in line with those quarter eyed feelings that you want to have, it makes making decisions so much easier. It makes where you're going in a day so much easier. It makes what you write, what you work on, it makes what you wear easier. I promise you. I know that sounds random, but it does, really does. So thank you for the question. And I hope that's been a little bit helpful or a lot helpful about how to work out values. So just have a Google, get one of those really big lists of values. Maybe grab 10, you can have a few more if you want. And then do that exercise if I had this one or that one, which is more important to me. Next one. And whittle it down till you get to your top five and you will see a change, I promise. So until tomorrow night, have a good night, everybody. And stay safe in Australia in the fires. Oh, my God. Just heartbreaking, heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Thank you to everyone who's looking after everybody in the fire zones. Night, night.